How's it going? Welcome back into the den for episode 15 in my brush review series, the Mula STF with Serrano fibers. So what they've done is they've taken a product made by DuPont. It's been around for about a decade or so, and it's in anything and everything from apparel to carpet to uh, car floor mats. It's been used in a lot of different applications and it's a plant-based polymer. Essentially, with the research that I've done since purchasing this brush, what they're doing is, is they're taking glucose from plant starch and through some proprietary fermentation process, um, converting that into a polymer. And from it, um, DuPont claims that they're using 40% less energy and emitting 63% fewer greenhouse gases than our typical petroleum-based polymers, plastics. Because at the end of the day, these synthetic fibers that we're using is just plastic. So what DuPont claims is, is that you have the suppleness of nylon, the bulky, bulkiness of acrylic, the stain resistance and elasticity of polyester. I think it's super cool that Mula has done this. Um, while researching it, I found that the Serrano brand, um, DuPont has full on made a brand out of it and they have different lines in that brand like the Serrano Aurora um, and all these other line product lines that they've created. And one of them is this um, faux fur line. And uh, they're making all types of different furs out of it and you know trying to mimic the real thing. And so those are the fibers that we have here in the Mula Serrano. And so, like I was saying, I think it's super cool that they've done it. Um, I would like to see more people you know, try and use this type of technology. But that being said, that's what the Serrano fibers are. And Mula says that the new brush has 37% of those fibers, of the Serrano fibers, and then the other 63% would be what we normally find in my Mula STF here. And so I have my Mula STF 25 millimeter from AP Shave Co. And I have my Mula 25 millimeter extra density from AP Shave Co. And so mine is the 20% more density. So they offer the knot in two different densities. I do prefer more backbone as opposed to less. And so I, pur I purchased the 20% more uh, fibers. So this is the 20%. That is what I'm reviewing in this. On the screen, I'm going to put up here what I give the STF. I have two of them in case you're unfamiliar. Two different handles, only one of which I purchased from Andrew at AP Shave Co. Both of them are 25 millimeters, just like the uh, Serrano is. All right, you ready? So we're going to do this, the rest of this, just like I do my other 14 episodes. If you're unfamiliar with the structure of it, I invite you to check out episode one, where I lay it out in detail. And then episode two, I talked about it a little bit more as well. All right. So overall, I'm very happy with this brush. I talk about a couple of the other differences when we get down to the end of it at, at the value section. With soft tips, I'm giving it an eight. Now I gave the regular a nine. Do it like this. All right, soft tips, I've given it an eight. Well, I gave the regular a nine. And that's also on face feel too, an eight for the Serrano and a nine for the STF. Backbone. Backbone, there's slightly more backbone. Now, one thing about this too is I had Andrew, like I do all my knots that I'm going to review. Yes, I can set my own knots. I recently set this knot and this handle that I purchased from Andrew. But with all of my brushes that I'm purchasing to review, with ones that I'm going to be doing a, a video just like this one, I have the artisan set it for me and I have them set it in the way that they would set it for anyone and everyone who purchased a brush unless they made a specific uh, request, right? And so what Andrew told me is that he is setting these one millimeter deeper than he sets 
the STF, and that is to give it a little bit more backbone. So we have it a millimeter deeper, and we have 20% more fiber than the regular Serrano. And from that, we are getting a slight bit more um, backbone. I gave the STF a six. I'm giving this one a 6.5. Andrew has said that from what he had noticed, it was like the Serrano fibers are a little thinner. And so I think between the extra density that I purchased, the 20% more, and with it going a, mi a millimeter deeper, we're getting a very comparable backbone to each other. Ease of splay, I've given both of them a seven. So 6.5 on the backbone and a seven on ease of splay. A six and a seven. I love it, I do. I, I love this knot. If you missed my first review, it'll be in the, the description. My review of this guy here. That takes us down into flow through and retention. Flow through is identical on both. I couldn't distinguish any real differences. I was even playing around with them the other day, like I've talked about in other videos where I was trying to see how much I could fling and doing the different tests and stuff that I like to do with them. Flow through a seven and a seven. Now retention, I think we're splitting hairs, pun intended, with this one to where this seems to have slightly less retention than the Mula STF. And so for that, and like I debated back and forth whether or not I was going to give them the same score, I gave the STF a 7. I'm giving the Serrano a 6.5 for retention. That takes us down into value. So assuming that you purchased them, like I did, from AP Shave Co., basically the new Serrano fibers cost you about 5 or $6 more than the STF. Now you are getting the added eco-friendly benefits that um, they're claiming, right? And so without going into politics or any of that stuff, right, I'm going to leave that out. We're not looking at the environmental friendliness of this. We're just looking at how it performs. So whether or not, you know, eco-friendly is for you, that's great. If it is, my hat is literally off to you. But for value, I do feel like with that 5 or $6 more, you are losing a little bit. Um, because when you actually feel it, and I had my wife um, and Emily play with it too, uh, to see what their thoughts were. This one feels more plastic-y, um, if that makes sense. It feels like, and it's just a slight difference, a very slight difference when you're feeling it. But... Overall, I still feel like this is the better product, but you are getting the eco-friendliness of it, right? So then it comes down to value, whether or not you think this is a better buy. If money is an option, I would definitely recommend the STF. I gave this an eight. I'm gonna give this an eight as well. Um, you can get the Serrano in this handle, a 25 millimeter, 20% 20 extra density for $63. I think considering like I talked about before in my previous STF review, that you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, that this knot is as close as you're really going to get to having a Badger type feel. Now I do like the Umo ST1 because it offers more backbone, right? But I feel like both of these, when it comes to the way they feel, the way that they behave, the natural splay and all that stuff that Umo and Mula have done a great job of giving us a synthetic product that feels as close to the real thing as humanly possible, right? With using polymers to try and uh, emulate what Mother Nature has already given us with the Badger Knots. And the STF stands for Silver Tip Fiber. So an eight Overall is where I would put both of these on value. You can get this guy here for about $57 in this handle. This one here is $63. So it's going to run you about five or $6 more. I'm still going to give it a great value. And you know, if you're looking for something that's eco-friendly, you would then up that even more to a nine or a 10. If you want something that is eco-friendly as possible, then this is the best bet. Hands down all day long. It is, you know, made from glucose from plant starch. And it's, it's only 37%, but that's actually a lot. It's a little big things, my friends. I leave politics out of my 
videos as much as I can. Had to dabble a little bit in this one. It's the little big things. It really, really is. And uh, I'll let you decide on which is the littler big thing. Either way, they both perform oh, so much better than most of what we're used to on the market today. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.